Um, I have another subject that I want to talk about, and that is uh, um, EMPs, electromagnetic pulses that can be generated artificially um, by exploding a nuclear bomb in our atmosphere, but they can also be done naturally. Um, and this has actually happened several times in history. Uh, our sun has the ability to do what is called a coronal magma ejection. Um, and if it's directed towards Earth and we happen to go through its past path as we're um, you know, circling the Earth, then uh, we can expect to have some uh, uh, interference on our electrical grid. Um, uh, basically, anything that's controlled with a microprocessor uh, won't work because it'll it'll fry all the microprocessors. Um, the, the 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 connections in them are just too small to handle the load uh, that that the coronal magma ejection will cause here on our planet. Um, back around the turn of the century, um, we had a telegraph system in the United States and. Um, uh, several buildings that were attached to the telegraph systems uh, they caught fire and uh, many people reported unhooking the batteries from the telegraph systems and the telegraph systems were still working um, that's how much power it put in there I mean uh, that was for that particular event um, you know I couldn't tell you you know without reading something uh, and, and and studying up just exactly how much energy the earth accepted as a result of, of that particular event but I can tell you it was significant you know uh, most of it uh, you know just dissipated into the earth but before it dissipated into the earth it caused a lot of damage and if we had been at uh, the point in society where we are now and that it happened uh, it's very possible that each one of us would be looking at replacing all of our electronic devices like our TVs and our telephones and our cell phones and our cameras and, and uh, uh, the computers in our cars and, and, and everything. And um, because our electrical grid now is modernized to the point where everything is controlled by a computer, all of those computers would have to be replaced. Okay. So what, what I'm saying is, is that if, if we had like a global CME where the entire planet passed through this and... Uh, and everything was was knocked back down to the Stone Age as far as uh, our, our technology, our electronics goes. It would take quite some time for us to be able to have a refrigerator that works again, or have a camera, or a telephone, or or a TV, or anything that's going to come back on. I mean, we we'd have to get the electrical grid up first. In order to get the electrical grid up, we'd have to have vehicles get back up, which means we'd have to make new computers for our computer for. Yeah, for our uh, uh, our cars, I mean, it, the, the, everything is just stacked upon everything else, and uh, it, it would just take quite a bit of time for us to get back up and going. Um, now there is a kind of protection that you can have against this sort of thing. It's a personal protection. Um, you you can't uh, expect to to do this and and then you know save society with it, but you could uh, keep some comforts for yourself. Is what I'm saying. Um, Something's called a, uh, a Faraday cage or a Faraday box uh, can can stop this energy from entering into your electrical devices. the The problem with it is is that um, like you can't you can't put a Faraday cage or a Faraday box around your TV, all right, and then uh, have it plugged into the wall because you know this energy will come through your your uh, your wires into the back of your TV and, and kill your TV. So it's it's basically something where you store it, you forget about it, you don't think about it, and you leave it alone. Uh, it's not something that you're going to be using right now. That's that's the kind of thing that you're going to save. Also, it's probably going to need to be battery operated because there's not going to be anything that's going to be out there that's going to be able to produce power because it's all going to be fried. Um, you know. Uh, just to give you an idea, your your solar panels up on your roof aren't going to work because they have a blocking diode in it, and that blocking diode's going to fry. And then you, you know you're going to go to Radio Shack or wherever you know and try to recover a blocking diode, and they're going to be fried. You know, and there's you'd have to know how to make a blocking diode from scratch um, in order to have functioning solar panels that don't bleed back at night. 
okay I mean just things like that if, if, if you if you start researching into an EMP and what it does and and things like that you'll you'll start putting two two and two together about all this and go oh yeah well this this isn't gonna work and this will work and you know uh, you might be able to make some sort of hand crank device that you know does something I don't know but the, the point is is that I've, I've got I've got a box it's an ammo box um, it held like uh, I think it was 22 millimeter uh, rounds or something I don't remember uh, yeah I don't remember honestly but in this can I'm gonna set the, the camera down in order to get this open so hold on in this can now in order for this can let me just qual qualify this with in order for this can to actually be EMP resistant or EMP proof you've got to ground the can okay so you've got to take and, and put a ground lug on the can and then run a wire to your house ground or you know drive a ground rod into the ground uh, itself or you can bury it like three feet below you know the surface of the earth and that'll work too um, uh, in any case things that I've got in here I've got a digital thermometer uh, you know it'd be so much better to just have one of those mercury filled ones but they're a little hard to find now um, I've got 12 volt solar panel all right um, I like my 12 volt solar panel I can charge a lot of things with it I can charge tons of things I've got a 12 volt household battery solar charger it'll charge double A's, triple A's, C's, D's, and 9's okay I can put my batteries in it and just go lay it out in the sun I've got a driveway alert system um, it's basically an intruder alert system for outside of my house um, I've got a motion detector alarm set um, I like this because uh, A it's wireless uh, uh, it, it's got uh, basically two sensors one for the back door one for the front door it's got a remote um, it's got a keypad so you can put a code in it it's got I think something for a uh, glass break and also for uh, uh, infrared motion so I mean it, this is an amazing little device in a little itty bitty box and it's it's wonderful I love it um, good security for when you don't have any electricity I had mentioned before in one of my other videos that I had a brand new headlamp in a box somewhere that I'm waiting to use uh, I'm waiting for my other headlamp to just break and die well this is it right here it's in this can right Let's see um, I've got a it's a solar power connection cable kit it works with that panel right there and uh, it allows me to connect it to a battery or I have an extension in here um, I've got an LED light um, I've got uh, different connectors to uh, connect to different things like I can barrel it with one of these um, and, and uh, uh, I mean it is just it's it's a really good device they're a really good setup to have um, I have a second light that one's for my wife um, I've got rechargeable batteries okay there's some rechargeable batteries I've got ooh interesting this is a hand cranked radio but it's a safety preparedness radio with NOAA weather alert and audio line input okay if there's somebody out there broadcasting uh, you know it's not ham that should get it okay uh, I've got some more batteries I really need more batteries honestly and I've got this huge okay battery charger and I don't know um, I don't have a specific reason why I have two battery chargers in here only to let you know that um, I think it's important to have battery chargers and if one of them goes bad uh, perhaps I'll have a second one available uh, eh, maybe it's not well thought out I don't know um, I just thought it was a good idea to have two and then I have 100 double A's and 100 triple A's. Um, I buy these for about 20-25 bucks over at Lowe's and these are good batteries I'm telling you 
they are good. I, I use them all the time. When I when I discovered them, I was leery about I was I was leery about using them. Um, just simply because you know you uh, you buy batteries all the time and uh, some of them are way better than others and every generic battery that I've ever bought has sucked I mean just big time uh, I, I've, I've always regretted buying generic batteries but um, I figured for 20 25 bucks for a hundred I could give them a try and uh, you know try them out and see how they work and I'm not disappointed no. Uh, I've been disappointed before and I'm not disappointed in these so it's something to think about you know setting up a little ferro tape box and putting some things in it because you know especially the lights lights and the security those are those are things that uh, you know, you're not going to be able to to live without in a situation where everybody's basically doesn't have electricity doesn't have running water there's maybe lots of civil unrest and um, you're just, you, you know, everything's going to be miserable. Everything. Everything's going to be miserable. Uh, everybody's going to be miserable. And this will just give you the edge on being safe and keeping your family safe. Um, and that, that's all it really is, is an edge. Uh, you know, these aren't things that you're going to want to, um, you know, tell people about after the fact, you know, when you're talking to uh, a friend or a relative, you know, I say, well, you know, I've got this Faraday cage and I've got some stuff in it. Um, because if something like this happens, uh, the, you know, the first place they're going to come to is your house to, to see if they can borrow some of that stuff, you know. And if you're like me, you're just barely putting enough away for your family, um, if, if that, you know. Uh, there, there's just not enough people out there and not enough money out there for everyone to be prepared and then there's there's tons of people who just aren't interested in being prepared and uh, one of the one of the goals of my videos is to show people um, that it's easy to get prepared um, and, and in fact I enjoy it it's fun for me it's it's a hobby and uh, that it doesn't have to cost an arm and a leg I mean I may have you know hundred hundred and fifty dollars worth of stuff in that box I don't know I haven't really counted it up but and and uh, you know honestly it's not stuff that uh, I just picked up all in one day. This is some of the stuff I've had for a dozen years. Uh, but it is something that you probably ought to consider doing if you um, you know are thinking about it. Uh, th this year, this year, 2013, is probably the uh, year with the strongest possibility that we'll experience a coronal magma ejection that disrupts our electrical services here um, on earth uh, that we'll see in our lifetime um, and uh, the reason why I say that is because there's there's peak cycles uh, in, in everything um, and the Sun is going through uh, its peak cycles um, this year uh, this is this is the hardest it's gonna uh, hit uh, it's it's you know probably in our lifetime um, we had some uh, uh, close calls last year and the year before as we've gotten closer to the year 2013 um, I mean and when I say close calls I mean you know if if we if the earth had been just a tiny bit slower or you know a percentage of a degree uh, a difference in the coronal magma ejection that came off the Sun then we would have experienced um, worldwide catastrophe so uh, it's, it's been really close it's been really close and it's not something that I like to think about every day um, that's why I have my box and my gear and my food and my water is so that I don't have to worry about it uh, you know I'm not one of those people that are running around telling everybody constantly you know are you prepared um, we have this thing going on you know I'll, if I see something on Yahoo or or whatever I'll post it to my Facebook page and uh, every once in a while, I'll talk to my family members about you know how they're doing on their emergency preparedness. But as far as you know, being all up in arms about this, I'm not. Uh, if it happens, it happens. Um, you can't you can't force people to be prepared who don't want to be prepared. 
and uh, hopefully whenever it all goes down um, we'll just be able to hunker down in the house for a while and and uh, you know help out some nearby family members uh, and for the most part you know stay safe uh, uh, the, the, the number one worry that I have in, in a situation that cat cat catastrophic you know is going to be uh, the neighbors down the street getting hungry and coming in and knocking on my door and you know if they smell food and I don't answer eventually you know they're going to come back with guns or or something you know no, that's that's probably my biggest worry is just the civil unrest and the hungry people that are going to be walking around and uh, you know, armed. So something else to consider is uh, how you're going to deal with a situation like that. Um, in any case, those are a lot of my thoughts on uh, CMEs and EMPs and, and such, and and what you know what a person who is is not rich um, or not even close to rich can do to you know, prepare for something like that. Um, uh, I'm going to leave you with a parting suggestion that is you know get prepared um, it's not likely but it is possible that something like that could happen in in our lifetime and you know you can either be one of the millions of people who aren't prepared uh, who are wandering around um, who uh, didn't think they'd ever do something so horrible as to take food from a child or um, eat something out of a garbage can uh, or you could be one of the people who are prepared and uh, have the ability to help other people, help family members, and keep your family safe. Um, so get prepared.